Hello, welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. I'm your host, Marek Mularczyk. Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop and Lightroom and photography as well. And I'm Marek Mularczyk from SAI Trains, UK, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe certified training. And in this video, I want to show you another new brand new feature inside Photoshop CC. Photoshop CC 2015.5 as this this year's release is called and I want to show you the new selection and masking space inside of Photoshop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this girl, I'll just do a quick selection here, I'm using quick selection tool, okay that's too much so I'm just holding alt key down to subtract from selection this is kind of red as well. I'll try to do as best selection as I can, but then we're going to refine actually some of the new features. So I'm just going to quickly switch to a normal lasso tool. And I want to add to selection this bit here. There we go. And this is too much, so I'm going to subtract it with Alt key down. That's, I think that looks fine for now. So I'm just back to quick selection tool. And now, with the new, this new version of Photoshop, when you're on Quick Selection Tool or Lasso Tool, you see this new Select and Mask button in the Control Panel, in the Options bar on the top of the screen. Well, we used to have Refine Edge, now we have Select and Mask, which is like a new version of Refine Edge. But what's different is when you click on the Select Mask, what's going to happen is Photoshop will take you in this new workspace. You don't get this dialog box for Refine Edge anymore. And now on the, pri on the right hand side, you get this properties panel with all these different options that used to be inside Refine Edge, but there's some more. So for example, when you click on the view in here, there's a new option called Onion Skin, which will show you a semi-transparent overlay over the area that hasn't been selected, which you can control through this another new feature, the transparency slider here. So we can make it more transparent, even fully transparent. Okay, so you can preview your selection. I'm going to make it slightly transparent, maybe something like that. Okay. Also, if you look on the left hand side of your screen, you got this new kind of new tools, like a tools panel here, really. So we got this quick selection tool in here, and then we got this refine edge brush tool and brush tool, and lasso tool, hand tool, and zoom tool. So I'm going to switch to refine edge uh, brush tool, the one that used to be inside refine edge. I've got plus and minus, it's like a brush, you've got a size here as well, so a bit more control, and I'm just going to paint in here, along her hair. Another thing you're noticing is actually life now. As I'm painting, it's updating straight away. Or in the past, you would paint over the area and then release the mouse button. Okay, I'm just going to subtract a little bit here to bring back a bit more of her hair. And then I'm plusing. I'm just always holding uh, Alt key as usual. <laughs> so a bit more here. And uh, if it goes too much, just hold the Alt key. Now paint over here. To make it back a little bit. There we go. Now paint again. We've got a red background behind. That's why it's showing like that. And a little bit in here as well. Back to the options in here on the right hand side, because that's what I want to focus on, the options in here, because you know selection techniques, and it's not about selection techniques in here. You've got the usual stuff, so you've got edge detection, so I would take smart radius, which will refine the edge of selection a little bit. That's too high, the radius. I'll keep it quite low, just a few pixels in here. You can also make global adjustments, refinements, so I could soften or smooth the edge of selection a little bit. Not too much, just a bit, and then add more contrast. Okay, and in the output settings, as in the past, we could just output it to. I would use new layer with layer mask. So got a layer mask in here. Mm -hmm. 